Hi, I'm Alan Elfman. You're watching Market News Media. And next to me is Dr. Sassy, with an I, not a Y. And he is representing the movie Jet. And first off, do you want me to just say Doc? Just Sassy. Just Sassy. Sassy with an I. I'll say, Sassy with an I, how are you? Fine. Why don't you tell everyone out in the whole world what your movie is about. And, and you can look in there. Okay. I like to look at you, but your public is right there. And only I, I don't look in camera I because know. I'm a guest. And so this is your camera. Actually, <laughs> you're the world's guest right now. Hi. <laughs> the movie is finally family vacation. One little family visits planet Earth for one day. And it's pretty much a stiff family, except for Chet. Chet is a scamp, a space scamp. And what is a JET the acronym for? Chet is me. Junior Extraterrestrial. Chet Junior ET, so to say. Falling home. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that would be voice over IP with now. Right? Yeah, or yeah. long cable. Yeah, long <laughs> cable. No, uh, ET would be now Senior ET, and yeah. Chet is something different. Yeah. Well, kind of like a Wally. Similar, I like Wally. I like Wally. Yeah. I have three kids. I love Wally. You have to like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have no choice. I learn by like it's like, okay, watch it again. Okay. And again. But just from the clip that I saw, I was amazed because the graphics. I appreciate graphics. You know, I'm normally a person just watches a movie or watches a show, and they just look at what programming is done. Mm -hmm. You've taken the time and making make your animation very crisp, very surreal, if you will. Mm -hmm. And that's just from what I've seen. I haven't had the pleasure of watching the whole movie yet. <laughs> but I just appreciate graphics. And, and that was a very good delivery, very good production of it. Thank you. No, 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 no. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Because it's difficult to watch a movie and you're just sitting there going, you know, that should have been a little bit crisper, or that motion should have been a little bit smoother. And lots of people don't recognize, but now with today's society, being media as an all new age technology, you really went with it, and you evolved your movie for everyone's, the new perception of it. I hope so, because it is uh, one of my three targets that I have with the movie. Ah, what's the other two? See? Okay. That's a teaser. He gave one, now he's going to give the two. The first one, um, I started in the analog time, where everything was not crisp. You don't know what that is. Analog is it's not... It's swinging, it it's yeah. waves, yeah. It's, it's celluloid, it's something that you can touch actually. Right, something physical. <laughs> where you had instruments that had weight, that you had to move, and uh, the cutting table were that size finally. And over the years you have to make your transition to digital, because no one really works purely analog anymore. No. And the beauty of that is it, demo, uh, it has democratized the whole situation because everyone can do it now. And that is one of my messages, of course. To, to give that message to all the people, you have to do it on your own. You, you can say, okay, I, I understand how it works and it's nice and so, but in the moment you really start to do it, from the first idea to the festival where we are here at the moment. How long, let's talk about that. Okay. How long did it take you to make your movie? Um, when the story was done, and I think I have rewritten it hundred times because you, you have to make uh, little connections I and all understand. of that. It's a lot of work. And so I, from original concept to, to final concept, how long was that? The practical work was one year and to, to write it down, I would say, roughly a half year to, to go again into it. It was not from the morning to the evening, no, I the writing. Yeah. But, uh, to get distance again, to read it again, and, and to, to find places where it can introduce some elements and then go back to the end and, and charge the audience more and more that the story finally works in yeah. four minutes. And uh, the practical part was one year hard work, seven days a week, jump out of the bed mornings, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. And that's, a, and that's the, the physical. And uh, it, it's, it's programming. It's everything. It's it's uh, uh, pruning the set, <laughs> so to say, putting the light up and um, give everything that appearance that I wanted to have in the kitchen, in, in, in the outside space, or just putting the doors out of the helicopter. It's it's all the time that you have. Well, to you're have giving away stuff I haven't even seen yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're just teasing me right now. Sorry that I tease you. Oh, I don't want to tease you. He's teasing me now, America. <laughs> 
all over the world. He's teasing me. Okay, uh, back to the work. Uh, the whole movie is practical footage mm -hmm. with a real camera, with mm -hmm. practically five different cameras, because I want to show that you can do it with a $200 camera as well as a $8,000 camera. Mm -hmm. And it's done with Cinema 4D. It's a 3D application that I use since 1996. It's one of my favorite. What's it called? Cinema 4D from Maxon. There you go. That's, that's a good plug, just in case when this commercial goes, whoosh, yeah, you know who 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 said that. Yeah, it's it's uh, my favorite, absolutely. And um, to combine these worlds, it's it's an effort. I tell everyone it's easy and it is easy, but you have to do it in small steps. Yeah, baby steps. Baby steps, and it, it's like you don't jump on a mountain in one step, especially not here in the dome. I do, but I usually hurt myself because of that. I know this No, <laughs> <laughs> no uh, when, when you go every day a little bit, your whole body accepts the height, the, the thin air, and, and you go higher and higher. And after a while, you look down and you are on the top and, and, and you've done it. Onward progression. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the more you enjoy the ride, so to say, the more you, you live your life finally. And yeah. to make a movie is part of your life, of course. You don't do it on the weekend or so. I try to, but I fail. That's why I gotta watch this movie. Now, when's it going to be released out? It's on festivals, and I think the the yeah, but not everyone can see a festival. Not everyone can come to see it. I want. When are you gonna release it to the world? Um, I think we will release it at cineversity.com for the members. Okay. We have sixty-four thousand members at the time. And what does it take to become a member? Uh, normally. It's a small little fee that you pay for one year for 1,500 different tutorials and for pretty much 24 hours. So I'm going to be able to get to see that movie when I become a member, is what you're saying. I hope so, that it is possible that we can protect that a little bit. You know, the internet, it's, it's, oh, yeah. it's a shark area where everyone craps stuff. And, and now if you protect it, right. If you make your membership and you put a, 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 a exactly. block on it, then they can just watch it. They can't download it. No, I just want to be able to see it. I, I, I was a little... T you gave me a piece of a food and said, here's a little piece. Now that I'm hungry and I want the whole pie, no, sorry, can't do that yet. I want to see it. Go to festivals. This weekend, normally in New York and in Sedona, New York has closed the doors based on snow, so one week later. The week after, the next New York is then the International Family Film Festival, mm -hmm. and it's parallel to to a festival in uh, Sandie, Sundial in Reddick, mm -hmm. and in Gumpy in Australia, and so on. All right, here's my <laughs> last question. Of all festivals, which is your favorite festival? Before I answer that, I have to admit that during my lifetime, I think I have summarized a half year of uh, being on festivals so mm -hmm. far. Uh, for example, 14 times Berlinale, where 50,000 people are. And that gives me exactly the point where I want to, to go to Sedona. Here you are not a number. Here you are a person. Here you are an artist. Here people recognize you by name. Here we're a vortex. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I understand. We're a force to be reckoned with. I understand and appreciate that, but I just want to know, I want to let you know that on behalf of Market News Media, I can't speak on behalf of the film festival, but as one of the guests, as one of the media, as one of the sponsors, I welcome you here. I've talked with you for the past few days, and it's been a pleasure meeting you, so I can only imagine great things for your movie to come. Hopefully I can share all of that, as well in the tutorials that I do along this movie, which is finally a series of 200 tutorials, and I hope everyone will make movies, and we met everyone then. Here. I'll be one of those people, so you'll be seeing my film next year, and you know he'll be coming to interview me. So I thank you very much, Sassy, well, with pleasure. an I. Remember that. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. And you're watching this on Market News Media. Bye. Thank you.